can now help you understand the uh, Service Trust portal that Microsoft has. Now, as you can imagine, Microsoft is working with insane amounts of different companies and organizations uh, around the world. And in, regarding, in regards to that, those different companies, those different organizations, they have different um, compliance laws and regulations that they're under. And Microsoft has to prove to those companies and organizations that they are uh, taking the proper steps to make sure that things are secure and updated in their environment. So Microsoft has a portal uh, that is called the Service Trust dot microsoft dot com portal so service trust dot microsoft dot com portal and if you go there this is the service trust portal and microsoft um, publishes all of the documents related to their certifications and regulation standards here so the various companies and organizations that say okay well you know uh, we need to verify that that your that microsoft 365 and azure is following proper uh, GDPR, General Data Protection Procedures, or the PCI standards, the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards, or ISO, the security organization controls that Microsoft uses, all of that's published here. Um, the reports, white papers, and different artifacts are published here. For, for one, me being kind of a cybersecurity guy uh, and consultant, uh, I like to look at their penetration testing and security assessments. And so you can you can read up on all these different documents and pieces of paperwork here. You can click on those. You do have to make sure you're signed in when you try to view these, but you can go here and, uh, for example, let's say I want to look at the, the Office 365, M365, Mobile, and Intune MAM third-party vulnerability assessment they, that they did back in 2020. And even though it says back in 2020, they do update the document to address different threats. So for example, if I up, if I open this document, um, they are updating this document periodically. And what's neat about this too is they use third-party vulnerability assessment uh, companies to do this. So it isn't just Microsoft security team. They have supposedly unbiased companies that are uh, doing these assessments and they're pointing at out these different threats and um, you know they're ranked by severity, critical, important, moderate, and low, which is the pretty common standards that are used in what's known as common vulnerability and exposures on the internet, known as CVE. All right, and they mention their findings. They mention Microsoft's response. So the, again, this service uh, portal that they have is the service trust portal that they have is a great way for you to stay up to up to date on the latest and greatest security issues and regulations and compliance. If you are working for a company or organization that requires proof that Microsoft is adhering to these uh, regulations, this is going to be the place to go. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.